Seriously, Suzanne here. I want to tell you another tip today about um, schooling at home and life in general, honestly, education in general. And that tip has everything to do with index cards. These are tiny little ones. Uh, you can buy them at Amazon and they come all different colors. This one's blue. It's hard to see. How do you see? Um, and then we have uh, plain white ones. You can get them lined. You can get them unlined. Index cards. So what can you do with index cards? Index cards are great for vocabulary, obviously. Um, practicing math facts. All kinds of stuff. The main idea that you want to think of is order them, first of all. Get on Amazon. Order some index cards. And then use them for lots of things like scheduling prioritizing, um, deciding what you want to have for dinner, uh, handing them out and letting a kid write down one thing that they want to do today and one thing they don't want to do today, uh, one thing they don't want to do today. So with index cards, the, the great thing about it is that you get your information and you make it chunky. And so chunky and light is my phrase that I like to use. So you're breaking everything down into a bite-sized piece of information. This is why it works so great with uh, flip-flop Spanish, Spanish geniuses. I always recommend fl flashcards because they work with every learning style. Um, learning styles of tactile. You're touching it, you're picking it up, you're moving it around. Visual. Obviously, you can draw a picture or write a word, write it in different colors. That helps to trigger memory um, other ways. And then... Uh, audio, you can say it out loud. So you're reading each little bit and you're putting it down. You put your little index cards and I know it and I don't know it piles, um, or I know it and I don't know it pockets. If you're doing your math facts on the trampoline outside, then you use your pockets instead of piles. Um, you can call them out, put it back in your hand whenever it's wrong. Um, whenever you're like, oh, I, I have like 78 things I need to think about today. And you say, I can't think about 78 things. Let me just think about this stack right here. So if you're a list maker and you're a little bit overwhelmed with all the schooling at home, the crisis schooling, whatever you want to call it, um, instead of being a list maker, be a card maker. Write down each item on the card. When it gets done, you can either throw it away or put it in the done pile. And that feels so good as your need to do pile gets smaller and your done pile gets bigger. Um, like I said, there's color coding, so you can do it for menu planning, use this color, for uh, math facts, for vocabulary, for biology, whatever it is that you're using these for. It really helps the student and you to simplify your life with index cards. So I hope that helps you today. Um, I'm putting some links down here, so make sure you click on those and grab those, and I, I guarantee it's going to help uh, simplify and um, bring more order to your world.